Hey guys, what's up? My name is Maria Bethany and today I'm going to be doing a no makeup makeup look. So as you can see, this is this is the glowy no makeup makeup look. You couldn't even tell, couldn't you? Yeah, I'm going to be using minimal products, really easy. Honestly, it should take you about five minutes in the morning if you're thinking of doing this kind of look for school or just those days that you're really in a hurry but want to look a little bit more put together. I really wanted to quickly mention that you guys should totally subscribe. And another thing, follow me on Snapchat because I vlog the entire entire moment that I reached 400,000 subscribers, 400,000 of you guys. I was in the middle of class and I was just shook when the number changed to 400,000 and thank you. Like <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't feel real. Like thank you guys so much. But yeah, it's so nice to see the family growing and if all of you guys could give me a thumbs up if you like this video, I would totally appreciate it as well. But also another thing, make sure to follow me on Instagram because my Instagram name changed to Maria Bethany now and if you're trying to find me on my old username, I'm sorry, you're not gonna. So make sure you're following me and uh, tell your friends that I switched my username and your mom and your dad and your dog. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say and we can go and get started with the video. So we are gonna get started. First of all, I like to set my face with a moisturizer and a serum just to create a base for all of the makeup that we're gonna put. Even though it's not a lot, just to protect um, any makeup from going inside our pores, which then will cause a lot of acne and we do not want that. For that, I'm using these two little products. One of them is the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer. I use this twice a day. And this product, I just started using it. I'm trying to see how it works out. This is the O. Henry in Truth Serum. It is vitamin C complex to brighten, smooth, and help the appearance of aging. And I put this only in the morning after I cleanse my face before I put on my moisturizers. For primer, I'm going in with this Matchbox Photo Finish. And I just mainly put this on the sides of my cheeks where I have a, a lot of acne going on at the moment. And for my makeup to sit well on my pores, which are generally like right beside my nose. So I'm going to put the primer right there as well. Then for a foundation, we're not really using that today because it's a no makeup makeup. And personally, when I do a no makeup makeup, I use the minimal products possible. We're not gonna be putting on a lot of makeup, but making it look very minimal just to make it appear as if we're not wearing makeup when we actually are wearing like three bases of foundation. And no, we're just gonna go super all natural. So I'm gonna go in with my NARS. This is the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. But I'm going to spice it up, make it look a little bit more glowy with the Cover Effect custom enhancer drops and this is in shade sunlight so I'm gonna mix them in the back of my hand putting a little bit of the nose moisturizer and then I'm gonna go in with the drops and drop about one two I feel like that's plenty enough and it's so pretty because it's kind of like a rose gold sheen so I'm gonna go in and mix it a little bit with my finger and just start plotting it up on my face and then with my damp beauty blender, I'm going to blend it all in. So we definitely achieved that glowy look we were going for with this makeup. And also another thing, we also canceled a little bit of discoloration in our face. But since we have glow where glow should not be, we're going to go with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And this is the, just the translucent light. I've heard that this powder is like the same effect as Laura Mercier, so I'm excited to try it out. And I'm really just planning on putting this powder underneath my eyes, just so it doesn't crease throughout the day and doesn't look oily where it shouldn't be really and i'm also gonna put it underneath my nose because there's a little bit of redness i want to set and on the sides of my nose as well just so the shine really comes in from the center and makes my nose look slimmer and after we are done with that i'm gonna go in with a little blush and i like this excuse you and I'm going in with this Milani Baked Blush because it has a little bit of a sheen and a glitter just to make it more glowy. But it does bring in color and like a kick of health to the face because it's looking just a little bit too dead right now. So we're going to go fix it. And blending it in with my Beauty Blender just a little bit to make it look like the color is coming from within. And even on camera, you can see like my acne scars peeking through. So you know that I didn't really put a big layer and it totally looks natural. It's just a little bit of an enhancement. And I didn't even use any highlighter. I just use a cover fix. But look at the glow that I still have. Like, truly amazing. One of the last steps is going to be to frame this face with the eyebrows. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in shade medium brown and I'm not going to go in way too deep. I'm not going to make my eyebrows look harsh or else it's going to unbalance the whole look that we're going for. So I'm just using this to 
add in a little bit of fullness to the sparse areas of my eyebrows and then brushing it out to make it look more natural and also like feathery so I'm done with eyebrows they don't look much different because I didn't try to make them look too different like I just honestly brought in a little bit of more coverage but I am going to set them because throughout the day we don't want them like being all like a little bit too werewolfy in your face especially in my case because I do have quite bushy eyebrows sometimes and I'm setting it with the L'Oreal clear gel and then I'm going to set it with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And then I'm going to bring in just a little bit of more color to my lips. So I'm going to use the Boltley Bear MAC Lip Liner. So you guys definitely saw me skip a step which was to do eyelashes. But as you guys know, I wear extensions so I don't really do anything to them apart from brushing them out. If you don't have eyelash extensions and you do like the look of big eyelashes, go for like natural strip lashes or the individual kind or just use mascara. My favorite is L'Oreal Telescopic. So you could definitely try that out. But you guys, this is it. This is all I do. I do this to school. I do this on days that I don't really want to wear a lot of makeup, but I do want to look just a little bit more, you know, put together it looks so natural but it's just like i said an enhancement to just bring a little bit of more color and a more life to um my face so yeah that's all that i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys on my next video bye